We didn't really know what was happening. Just knew there was a war and the Germans might come and live and go and see. But we girls and children didn't think too much about the war and nobody ever thought it was coming to Guernsey. Um, but I can remember my mother and father talking whether my father would have to go to, to war because he was at the age. But within a short while we were getting a bit very nervous and I know the grown-ups were because in France the Germans were moving on and moving towards the, the RC and our, our islands, of course. Um, so one day, it was the 19th of June, I believe, that there was a big notice on the Guernsey Press. Children were to be evacuated. Well, you can only imagine how my mother and father would have felt. I was almost nine, my sister was almost seven. And then within two days, 5,000 children left and almost 20,000 grown-ups left as well. People were going and leaving. Apparently, since then, I've found out that leaving cars on the quayside and selling them for 50 pence, you know, in our money now. Leaving old people abandoned, really. Pets killed. It was just an awful, awful time which is only when you're older you realise what it was like. I can remember the crush of people just sort of queuing and not knowing what to do. It was just pure panic. Um, I suppose we just kept, went along with, with the crowd and I think we were just relieved to get back home again because it was, it was worrying and everybody was so pent up it must have been an awful time for us children, although we didn't realise really how bad it was. Because my mother and father had heard about these Germans taking over houses, because they were coming in their thousands in 1941, and they wanted houses to live in. And it was one day I was home with my mother and two Germans came up the path and they wanted to look over the house. So my mother and I had to take them upstairs first. There was three bedrooms up there. Then came down to the next floor. Oh yeah, it's just good. And they, the views of the harbour. Oh yeah, and my mother was looking at me very worried. Then all of a sudden we were on the landing and she gave me a knock and she fell down. And she was groaning and moaning and laying on the floor. I said, Mum, what's the matter? Shut up. She says, I'm all right, I'm all right. The Germans were, oh dear, what is loss, you know? What is wrong? What is lost? I said, oh, she's sick. She's, she's sick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, OK. And they went off. And they never came back to take over the house. So if it hadn't been for my mother, I wouldn't be here telling a story because the house was the story. Really, we saw so much going on. And that was the start of the Germans searching, which we had again, of course.